<laughs> Hello and welcome back to my channel after what seems like a ridiculously long break I know but I'm finally able to reveal where my first motorcycle road trip is going to be for 2024 So I've given this loads of thought because I really wasn't sure where I wanted to make my first trip after my French adventure, which I'll put a link to up here in case you're interested. And so I asked the people that were following my last trip where they think I should go. And the place that really stood out to me that they suggested was the Pyrenees. I thought that was a brilliant idea, even though it's gonna really push the envelope for me. So that's what I'm doing. I'm currently on a ferry. We're disembarking tomorrow morning at Santander, and I'm gonna be traveling from west to east through the Pyrenees with no fixed agenda. So if you know the area, if you think there's anywhere that I simply must see, it would just be awesome if you could let me know in the comment section below. That boat was pretty busy and there were some fantastic cars on there. So, welcome to Santander. <laughs> One hour later. Well, that was a pretty disastrous start to the ride. I got off the boat and uh, I stopped the bike for a few minutes just while I jutted some things and I couldn't start it. So these amazing guys uh, that are working on the boat didn't speak any English. Uh, one of them was obviously a really keen biker and he came over and he just helped me. I mean, that's the thing about bikers, they help each other. And uh, I really hope that in this ride, um, I get the chance to do, to reciprocate in some way. The guy and the, and all of his friends were just amazing. They, uh, they tried to push start me and then uh, they eventually got this massive charger off the boat uh, and they got me started with that. So um, yeah, you know, fantastic people. And that is what, that has always been my experience of bikers. Anyway, we are now in Santander and it is raining. Of course it is. Uh, <laughs> of course it's going to be raining on my first day, but it's okay. There is a bit of better weather forecast in a couple of days time. My plan now is to not really hang around. I'm going to head down towards my first destination, which is about five hours from here. I'm not taking any motorways, I've made that a rule and I learnt that from my last trip. So this is going to be all secondary roads and uh, in the rain and so I'm going to make my way down towards Pamplona which is a, a town that's just sort of to, the, to the south of the Pyrenees. It is um, going to really be where I'm going to sort of crash for the night because to be honest with you I got very little sleep last night. So I'm going to put my mask down and I will see you a little bit further en route. Well, I'm delighted to say that the, uh, the best decision I've made so far is to not follow the motorways because it's stopped raining and I've got this beautiful little ride now uh, heading down towards Pamplona. Um, I'm thinking this is probably not even scratching at the surface of how beautiful the Pyrenees is going to be, but this is just lovely.
Oh, that was really pretty, actually. Really pretty. Oh, what's happening here? you going? I was going to go there, buddy. Don't forget golden rule number one, don't drop the bike. <laughs> I mean, this route is insanely beautiful. And by the way, this wasn't a planned route. I didn't plan to come this way. I just set the uh, Google Maps, to, basically just to say, I don't want to take any motorways. And it's taking me here. This is incredible. But I have actually got a bit of a steep drop on one side, so I'm going to keep my eyes largely on the road. Incredible. I mean, we are up really quite high now. And the other thing that's interesting that I hadn't really given a lot of thought to is I'm getting colder. <laughs> Sorry, way over the centre line there. Yeah, I'm getting a bit colder now, so I'm beginning to realise that I should have borne some warmer under layers. Never mind, I'll have to buy something. So um, I stopped for a coffee just now and I got Google Maps out, as you do, and I was just having a quick look on there just to see if there's anything that I could um, maybe go and visit. Uh, I don't know if you know, but I kind of really like these sort of empty buildings, empty properties, that kind of thing that floats my boat. Anyway, I found what looks like a kind of castle-y thing. I'm not sure what it is, to be really honest with you. Uh, it just sort of appeared on Google Maps, and so I thought I'd go and see if I can wind my way up there. It's a bit of a way up this hill. There's lots of twists and turns. So let's just see if there's anything at the top that we can explore. Well, I'll tell you one thing, the view alone is worth it. I'm, well, this is obviously, it's a dead end. I'm going to park you over here. So I've done a bit of googling. <laughs> Apparently this is called the Fort of Alfonso and it was built between 1878 and 1919 uh, and it was originally designed to actually protect the city of Pamplona which is actually where I'm staying tonight. However, by the time it was finished, uh, aerial bombing was a thing. And that kind of made this whole, tragically, this whole building, this whole structure, null and void, because it could be destroyed from the air. So they decommissioned it. And instead, it became a prison for um, hardened criminals until it was eventually um, just left to rack and ruin, uh, to disrepair. I think, it was about, I think it was the end of the Second World War, 1945, was when it was eventually abandoned. That's a shame. It looks like it's... It looks like I'm not going to be able to get in easily. Let me try down the side. I wonder if I can get in here. I 
I think getting inside this place is going to be probably not that possible. I'm going to try around the other side. Let me see if I can get a back up and uh, round the other side. Is it is if there's an easier way? Unfortunately, I've got no chance of getting down there. I can't deny that was a bit of a disappointment, wasn't it? I was really hoping I could have got in there and had a bit of a rummage around. I saw some photos online and it just looks absolutely fantastic inside, in, in amazing condition. Um, I'm imagining the gates are closed to keep vandals out, maybe, I don't know. Anyway, it can't be helped. I'm gonna make my way down to the hotel now. I'm only about a quarter of an hour away, down in Pamplona, uh, which is just at the bottom of this hill now, and get myself checked in. I have no idea if I'm allowed to ride down here. I don't think I am. But a car did just go down there and there was another car parked there. So, what? A, this looks pretty amazing, doesn't it? There's a car in front, but is that a taxi? There's also parking there. I'm going to carry on. Loads of motorcycle spaces. Can I get one in here? Apparently not. Okay, so I'm thinking, based on Google, that looks like my hotel. I think it is. Shall I pull over them? They're going to charge me basically 15 quid to park in their private garage but there's a whole bloody load of bikes up there i think i'm going to go round and see if i can um, find somewhere myself to park <laughs> you can you can hear the you can hear the worry can't you? you can hear the worry in my voice no other cars no other vehicles this place is amazing, but I'm totally not supposed to be riding around here, I'm sure. Am I? Uh, I don't know where to go. I'm sure I'm not allowed to go down here. This is a pedestrian street. I'm not supposed to be on. I'm not supposed to be here. Oh my god. Panic is definitely starting to set in now. Everyone knows this bloke doesn't know where the hell he's going. Oh. At least no one's shouting at me yet. <laughs> this is definitely not a road. Although there's an arrow there. I think what I want to try to do is to maybe go back to that hotel. 
I'm gonna do, I'm gonna try this again. I've got a green light, I'm gonna turn left here. This is so embarrassing. Right, hang on, let's just directions go. Yes, I want to start. Do you know what, I can remember where to go. I'm sure they're blocking more than I am. But she seems happy to see her friends, so that's the most important thing. Right, there were loads of bikes parked down here. This guy in front of me is definitely on a bike. He knows what he's doing, so I'm going to follow him and then see if I can grab a space in front there where all those bikes were. He's, he's riding, he is riding with confidence. Okay, let's have a little look, see what we can find. If not, there is parking there. No chance, no chance, no chance. Hmm. Nah. What about there? What about that? Could I park it there? Would I get shot if I did? Lots of other people have. I don't know. Nah. I'm not going to do that. Let's go and let's go until the hotel where we are. Although about 400 people are just starting to check in, but it looks of things bugger. This is deja vu, this is. Oh God. Don't know what to do. I think. I can't go around again. I think I'm tempted to go and drop it in that car park that we saw back there. Hmm. I'm going to check in first. So I'm all checked into the hotel in Pamplona and I went for one that was uh, had a fantastic view outside. Still, 77 quid, I'm not going to argue with that. What a fantastic day's ride. It obviously started off a little bit rainy, but it soon dried out. And all the way from Santander through to Pamplona, just incredible scenery, really, really beautiful. Uh, you're probably already aware of where I am, but I'm um, using the world's smallest map. Let me briefly show you. So obviously I landed here uh, and then basically I traveled south. I didn't want to go along the coast. I wanted to go a little bit further inland. I nipped up here and then I'm currently in Pamplona. So my plan for tomorrow is to head a little bit further along east. There's something around here that I want to investigate and then head north as we go through into the Pyrenees. So tomorrow promises to be a really, really good day. There is a little bit of rain forecast in the morning, uh, but we're not going to worry about that because after then it's going to be beautiful blue skies. I really hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please be sure to click on that like button and subscribe so I can let you know when the next video is available. 